Morning, afternoon, evening, uh, Johnny Wilson, Nottingham Physio, uh, and we are doing a high intensity interval training session, low impact, um, so it's fantastic to improve your cardiovascular health, to improve your upper limb strength, to improve your lower limb strength, to improve your dynamic stability va balance, so to make sure that you're going to get the most out of life. It's 30 minutes, it's non-stop, it's action packed, and um, there are modifications that you might need to do within the exercises we're going to start off with some mobility work but i can promise you that if you do this 30 minutes over and over and over again or do the other classes we have got then it is going to make a meaningful positive impact on your life so without any further delay or procrastination let's get on with it so let's start off with some mobility today okay so we're going to start off with some toe touches so up and downs so just like that just nice and easy Getting into a big stretch at the top, right, arching that back, and then keeping the legs straight, and then seeing how far you can go down in terms of. So it's nice to get that bit of a warm up in preparation for some vigorous activity, okay? So just going up and down. Now we're making this a dynamic warm up because the exercises that we're going to do are very dynamic. So we're not doing these long pause stretching. There is a time and a place for that, but it's not quite now, okay? Got two more of these to do. Up and downs. How it's going to work today is that we're going to be doing exercises for 45 seconds, 15 second interval, and then we're going into our next exercise. So feet nice and wide apart, okay, like that, stretching out the groins, and then we're going to go opposite hand, the opposite leg, just like that. So we're doing our, what I like to call, groin windmills. So rotating and flexing at the upper body, you'll feel a stretch through your adductor, so the inside muscles of your, your um, thighs, and you'll feel that nice rotation going through there. Good, five more seconds, it's five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so then I'm just gonna leave somebody into my class, two seconds, okay. I admit, okay, fantastic. And whoever you are, can you just put yourself on mute? So a uh, big shout and hello to everybody who's in the class this morning. Right, okay, so we're gonna go into a squat position, okay? So knees bent, hips slightly bent, and we're gonna have our hands on the inside here. So hands are on the floor, and then we're gonna rotate up like that and back down, okay? Then rotate up and back down, and rotate up and back down. All the way up, feel that rotation going through that thoracic spine. Nice. Following your hand with your eyes. Well, you might have more rotation on one side than you do on the other side. Last two. And then one more. Oh, that's beautiful. Good. Next one, if you got a step, you can use a step. If you don't have if you don't want to get a step, no better. Okay. So we're just going to be going into this position here, so foot up on the box like that, okay? Both feet facing forwards, just dropping down nice and deep into that lunge position, feeling the stretch on the back leg, and then you've, it should be pain-free, so you shouldn't be working into any pain on this side, but then you're all the time trying to get that back your, your thighs, so your hamstring muscles, to reach your calves. So just down like that. If you want to make it more intense, you can pop that hand over the head like that. Squeeze the glute muscle back here, and then up and down. Okay, so good. Nice opening up of the hip flexors and the pelvis here, and good compression through the knee joint and hip joint and ankle joint on the front side. Okay, so then we change that onto the opposite side. Okay, like I say, you don't need a step for this. I, I get a step because you can get more deep into that lunge position. So really feeling that stretch at the bottom. If you want to try and keep your chest up, feel that stretch right through that back leg, through the hip flexors, okay? And then getting down deep into it. See, can you get the back of your thigh to touch your calf muscle there? Good, two more of these. Last one. Love that, okay. For our last mobility exercise, what we're going to do is downward dog to uh, cobra. I think that's what they call it. Now, if you're struggling to do that from the floor, what you can do is you can do it from a raised place here. So you can get any raised surface at home and then just going into that position there, 
So you're arching the back and you go like that. If you can do it from the floor, brilliant because it's brilliant for shoulder mobility as well. So we're going to go into that downward dog position and then into a cobra. So just like that, feel a stretch and into that position there again. Good. Try and keep the elbows straight if you can. Feel this getting a real good stretch through your hamstrings, through your calves. Get into that arch position there. Good. Two more of these to do. I love these. These are fantastic. And last one. Oh, I can do these all day. Absolutely love that. Okay. What a great way to start from a mobility point of view. Second part of our high intensity interval training session is going to be an upper body circuit. So we are going to be starting off with bicep curls, okay? So pick a weight that's going to challenge you. We're going to do 45 seconds, and then we're going into our second exercise, which is going to be dips. So you're going to need a chair after that. Okay, getting ready to go in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Challenge yourself today. Really push yourself on those weights. Okay, 45 seconds on bicep curls. Keep the cadence, so the speed of it, nice and quick. Okay, bring that weight to you. Up and around to you. Upper body strength is really important. Every day we're losing strength, okay? As you're getting older, you're losing strength. You are not defying the laws of science. Let me tell you that right now. You are not entitled to be strong tomorrow. You have got to work for it. That's what we're doing here today. Keep working hard. Keep working hard for it. Come on. Last 10 seconds. Good. Keep pushing that. Second exercise is going to be dips. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, so you're going to grab yourself a chair or any type of raised surface. You can also do it on the floor. Okay, and we are going to be doing 45 seconds of dips. Getting ready to go in three seconds. Two and one. Down and up. Good. Get nice and deep, as deep as you can into that. Feel the stretch through the front of your shoulders. And then we're developing the posterior muscles. So the muscles at the backs of your, of your arms. So you want to get that lovely stretch at the bottom there. And then driving up. Good. I find this a really challenging exercise. From a point of view of mobility. So it's fantastic for the shoulder. From a point of strength. The ability to actually push yourself up from a seated position. This is really important. And then the endurance aspect of this. So I'm doing this over and over again. For that 45 seconds. Good. Last five. Four. Three, two, and one. Okay, we're on to our next banger of an exercise, which is going to be lateral raises for 45 seconds. Again, all of these should be done pain free. Palms facing forward and getting ready to go in three, two, one. Let's go up and down in a pain free range. So, up as high as you can go. If you're struggling from a pain point of view, then drop. The, the, the intensity of weight, so how heavy the weight is. Go to a lower weight. If you're struggling with a lower weight, then do it without any weight. Just get start working on range movement. If you're struggling in a standing position, lie on your back on the floor, okay? That takes gravity out of the equation. Now, if that is the situation, then you probably need to go and see a physiotherapist as well, um, or a qualified clinician to help you with that shoulder issue. Good, come on. Last five seconds, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, now I've left, opened the curtains and closed the curtains to last. Probably shouldn't have done that because now your arm should be absolutely on fire. But we're going to do 45 seconds of otherwise known as the Arnold press. Let's go, turn, push, good. Turn, drive it up. I tell you what. I'm going to struggle at the end of this one. You feel great on the first exercise when you're doing those bicep curls. On the dips then, you start kind of like going, okay, yeah, I'm knowing about this. On the ladder raises, you start going into fatigue. And then you get this real functional exercise right at the end. And it really challenges you. So stay with it. Get that rotation in. Get that drive at the top. Get that last 10 seconds in. Come on. 10 seconds, Raph. <sighs> Keep it going. Last five. Good. Three, two, 
and one. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so we go from an upper body circuit, and now we are onto a course of um, circuit. Okay, so a new core exercise today. Now we got to get going on this. And believe it or not, there's ten minutes gone in the class already. So I'm supporting my hands like that. Okay, my hands are on the floor, and I'm just going in. And out like that, okay? 45 seconds. Let's get it going. So I've just got in and out just like that. You guys are doing phenomenal. Good. So I'm using my hands to support myself at the back. And I'm just bringing my knees, straightening my knees, bending my knees. Not so much, okay? And you'll feel that working. Good. Keep it going, guys. Come on. Keep working that now. After this exercise, we're going to mountain climbers. Now you can do mountain climbers on the floor, up against the wall, or on a raised surface such as a chair, okay? But you gotta find where your level is at. Good, come on. Keep working it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so either against the wall, mountain climbers, against the chair, Mountain climbers are on the floor. So I'm choosing to do mine on the floor. Are we ready? Let's get going. 45 seconds. Good. Do brilliantly. Next exercise then is gonna be, we're gonna be lying on our back, okay? And we're gonna do our crunch, opposite hand to opposite leg. Good, this is an excellent exercise. Again, for building that shoulder strength and mobility and function. And then we've got our lower abs really working hard. <sighs> Good, guys. Come on. 15 seconds. That's it. Keep it driving those up. <sighs> Last 10. <sighs> Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Right. Then we're going to be lying on our back. Okay. And we're going to do opposite hand. Let's get that out of the way. Opposite hand, the opposite leg, okay? 45 seconds, ready? And let's go. And then the opposite side. You have it. See, can you touch that toe? If you can, fantastic. So I'm just about getting it. It's taking me a little bit of time to do that. Good, keep breathing. Try and keep that leg straight as much as you can. And up and reach. Good. That's it. Up and reach. A lot of mobility, a lot of hip flexor strength, a lot of core strength, a lot of rotation going on here. Big bang for your book exercise. Four, three, two, and one. Okay. Next exercise. It's going to be the exercise where, again, you can be doing it from up here. Okay, so you can go back to there, that position, and touch, and then back into there, and touch, okay? So you can do it from a raised surface, or you can do it from the floor. Getting ready to go. So we're doing a downward dog to toe touch, okay? And then like that. Okay, good. Let's go touch that foot, and then into that cobra position. Touch the foot, try and keep the legs straight as much as you can. Get that mobility going through it. Good, touch that toe. Again, absolutely super exercise for mobility, for strength, for core, for endurance, for flexibility. Good, try and keep your Elbows extended at all times. Last 10 seconds. Come on, guys, you got this for me. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, 15 seconds, and we are on to our next circuit, which is going to be lower limb circuit. So we're doing horse stance, so nice and wide, and we're doing a pulse on that for 45 seconds, and away we go. Just up and down, like that, good. You can hold the weight if you want to make it a little bit tougher. Okay, up and down for 45 seconds. Just a nice, 
little pulse. From here, we'll be going back to the floor and we'll be doing a straight leg raise, hopefully unsupported. Now what I mean by that is not using your hands, okay? Good. Just good guys, come on. Stay with it now. Doing really well. That's 10. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so quads should be really burnt now, okay, from doing that. And then we're gonna go straight leg raise. We're gonna be trying to get yourself as tall as you can, either hands over your head or wherever, and then it is up and down just like that. Okay, we are on, clock is on. Now, you don't want to be leaning back. You always want to try and imagine there's a string on top of your head and you are working as hard as you can to stay up against that string. Good. Keep it going. Keep that knee really tight, so keep it straight by working hard, by squeezing your quad muscles. Good. Just up and down. Stay tall through that position. Last 10 seconds. Good, come on, keep working, keep pushing. Five, four, three, two, and one. Aye, aye, aye. Okay, and we're gonna go opposite side. My quad was literally um, on fire there. It was like kind of going into a bit of a cramp. Okay, opposite side going in five seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Up and down. Good. Just try not to hit your heel off the floor. And then all I'm trying to sit as high as you can. So we're working on hip mobility, hip flexibility, hip strength. So we lose a lot of this. Like, I mean, my quad is going into absolute spasm already. Good. Stay with it. Come on, come on, come on. Next exercise after this, if you've got a step or you've got a bit of a chair or something like that, we'll be using that. We'll be doing single leg hamstring bridges. Okay, good. Come on. Keep pushing that. Come on, come on, come on. Last 10 seconds. Keep, try not to lean backwards. Try and keep forwards. Four, three, two, and one. Hi, yeah, yeah. Okay, I keep my shoes on for this next exercise. So I've got my little step there. I'm lying on the floor. I've got my heel into the floor like that. The other leg is up in the air. And what I'm going to do is lifting my bum up and down off the ground. 45 seconds. Let's go. And the straighter my knee is, the harder it is, right? So if I'm struggling, I can kind of get more of a knee bend on it, okay? Or I can just put my foot on the floor and not be on a step. Good, guys, come on. Up and down. <sighs> Squeeze at the top, really drive that hip up as much as you can. Get those posterior muscles working. Get those glutes working, your bum muscles. Good, get your hamstrings firing. Last 10. This is tough. Five, four, three, two, and one. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, that was tough. That is tough, let me tell you. Okay, getting ready to go on the opposite side again. So a slight knee bend, the other leg goes in the air. You can put your hands on the floor if you need to to give yourself a little bit more of assistance. Three, two, and up we go. Good. So we're working on that endurance. <coughs> we're working on firing up those glute muscles. Good. Come on. Keep working hard to it. That's it. That's it. Love it. Keep working. Keep pushing hard. Good. Drive the hips right up. Work hard through that glute. Work hard through those hamstrings. Oh. Doing really well. Come on. Last 10 seconds. Keep working. Do not give up now. Five, four, three, two, and time. Ay, ay, ay. <coughs> okay, so we are going back to an upper body circuit. And the upper body circuit is going to start off with punches, okay? So we are going to be going punching. Now, believe it or not, we're nearly 20 minutes into the class already, okay? You need a drink, get your weights together. Okay, we're getting ready to go in eight seconds. Doing 45 seconds of punches. Three, two, 
one go and then we're on the move as well so if you can get on a little bit of a step count here as well keep pushing through that you can see from the side as well here that I'm not fully extending I'm just trying to get a nice little bit of speed into that and burn a lot of calories so a lot of cardio work going on here as well okay good that's it guys come on keep pushing this now 15 seconds to go you got this keep driving through speed it up even a little bit more come on keep it going four three two one next exercise is press-ups so you can do them either against the wall you can do them on a chair or you can do them on the floor whichever way you're going to do them let's just get them done and let's do it together okay three two one let's go on my count down for three two one push up three two one push up so we lower slowly down three two one push up hard three two one push up hard lower slowly down three two one push up three two one drive up three two one you're doing brilliantly push up three last 10 seconds two one drive up last come on push it through two one drive one more press up three two one well done okay so we're going to stay on the floor now you can use a weight for this it's we're going to do our y's okay so we're going to be doing going like that let me just sorry for the noise we're going to be going like that so got two i'm going to use two kg weights you can do this without any weights that's no problem at all but we're going to do 45 seconds of y's because this is a really important exercise when it comes to shoulder health and mobility okay now my head's going to be on the ground and we are going to go in three two one and let's let's go so you're just raising it above the head just like that working on the posterior muscles of the shoulder <sighs> good guys come on stay with it Keep the elbows extended. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Ay, ay, ay. Oh my God. Not quite 45 seconds, if I'm being honest. But anyway, you get the idea. Okay, next one is bent over reverse flies. And we need to get cracking on. Okay. So, 45 seconds. Bent over and let's go. Slight bend on the elbows. You guys are doing phenomenal. Good. Keep pushing up through that. Come on, guys. Good. 15 seconds gone. I find this a really tough one. Now, you want to try and make sure that your knees are pretty straight. So you're getting a stretch through the hamstrings. And you want to squeeze your elbow, your shoulder blades back together. And you want to have a slight bend on your elbows. And you want to be make sure that you're as bent over as you possibly can. One of the biggest mistakes that people make in this exercise is they don't bend over enough. So you want to be looking at the floor when you're doing this exercise. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my God. We are absolutely flying through this today. Less than six minutes to go, guys. Okay. Going to need your step again. We are going to do heel raises on each side. For 45 seconds, okay? So, get yourself into a good position, okay? And we are getting ready to go in five seconds. Single leg heel raises off a step. Three, two, one, and go. 45 seconds. Good. It has been a banger of a session today. We've got less than five and a half minutes to go. So, you may as well put it absolutely all in all in now okay come on feel those leg muscles absolutely burning and working this one is a really tough exercise so i can already feel the burn good 
Oh my God. I am struggling this one today. Less than 15 seconds. Come on. Last 10. Woo. Five seconds. And time. Oh. Right. Going to go on the opposite side. Getting ready to go in 10 seconds. Get a drink. Do what you need to do. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. And let's go. 45 on this side as well. After this, it'll be shoes off. Because we're going to be practicing our single leg dynamic stability. We're going to be doing 45 seconds of windmills on each side. Okay. Good. Come on, guys. Stay with it now. 20 gone, 25 to go. 25 gone, 20 to go. Last 15. It's not a bad on this side, to be honest, as well as on the other side. Last 10. Last 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, shoes off. Single leg windmills, working on the hamstrings, working on the intrinsic um, foot and ankle muscles, working on mobility, working on flexibility. Again, there is purpose and reason, high purpose behind everything. Opposite hand, opposite leg. Let's go. 45 seconds. Feel a stretch through the hamstring. If you need to hold on to something for some balance, do that. <sighs> high intensity. Low impact interval training based around the science of health and longevity. A chondrally defensive program, which means that you're protecting the joints from unnecessary impact, ground reaction forces. Last 15 seconds on this side. Holy God, tonight. Last 10. And when you're tired, your balance will be out, out of um, skew anyway. <sighs> Last one. Good. Aye, aye, aye. Opposite leg. We've got two and a half minutes left in the class, right? We are nearly there. We've got step downs after this exercise. Okay, ready, set, and let's go. There we go. Up and downs. 45 seconds. Manage that balance. Getting good at it. Touch the floor if you can. Minimal knee bend. You'll find that your balance on one side will be better than the other side. And the side that it's not good on is the side we need to work on. Good. Twenty seconds to go. Last fifteen. This is a huge opportunity to improve your quality of life. You improve your quality of life, you protect your independence. Your independence is directly correlated to your quality of life. Last five seconds. Four, three. Two, and time. Okay, single leg step downs. Guys, this is it. One exercise left on each leg. We're done. Okay, getting ready to go in five seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go. 45, up and downs. Good. Manage that balance. If you struggle on a step, just use a book. If you struggle on a book, just do it from the floor. Just do a little touchdowns with your heel in front of you. Good. It's not about the amount that you do now. It's the amount of control that you have, okay? There should be no pain doing this. So this is my good side. I always start off on my good side. I probably should start off on my other side as well. But I don't. Good. 15 seconds to go on this side. We're going to have to change straight into the opposite side to get the 30 minutes in today, okay? So there'll be no 15 second break. Five, four, three. Two and one. Okay. Change so that we hit that 30 minute mark. Okay. Ready? And let us go. Okay. Control up and down. So again, on this side, I've got to be a little bit more mindful. I don't go to foot. I, I kind of warm the knee up as I'm going along. And over that 45 second course, eventually, I do get down towards touching the ground. But I'm mindful about how precise I am in my movement and I'm also careful in my movement I don't want to aggravate the knee I want to provide a stimulus that's going to create a healing environment so I don't need to iatrogenically so 
cause myself that's causing myself some pain that's five seconds five four three two and one. Oh my god i think that is the best 30 minutes we have ever done listen to all those who are here every wednesday morning thank you so much for coming again it's been over four and a half years we've never missed a session um, I was feeling really under the weather this week, so I didn't get out of bed until this morning. It's been the last four days in bed, so hence why I might be sounding a bit chesty. Um, and I couldn't miss this class, and I feel better for it. Still a bit under the weather, but I'm definitely improving, and I know this 30 minutes will have has been the best medicine I could have ever taken. Um, so, thank you all so for joining, and uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you're not already part of this group, make sure you are, because like I said, um, I've got many plates spinning at the moment, but I will be closing down the channel to subscribers only and those people who join me on Wednesday morning. So, without any other uh, malarkey, this is Johnny Wilson, Nottingham Physio, signing out.